Okie doke. Here we go. It's Friday. And uh, you know what that means. It's the end of another week. Or at least the working week. For, in fairness, at least not all of us, you know. I, I think it would be very... It would be inaccurate of me to say it's the end of the week for people because there's a lot of hard working people out there that for Friday, when it comes to it, it just means there's two more days of work to do, or at least one. So I'm very grateful at the moment to be able to just largely not worry too much about work when it gets to uh, about four or five o'clock today. I suppose that's also by design. It also comes back to the whole flexibility piece, which I've talked about loads when it comes to running your own business. It's definitely something I'm I'm putting a priority on at the moment is, is making sure I've got the the weekend time set aside. But anyhow, probably a quick video today. I I think in terms of business update, it, so it's a busy day today. I alluded to that yesterday evening. Like it, it's probably one of the busier days I've had. It is it is probably the busiest day I've had this week. Um, so I don't really have much time to to dig into the topics. I was going to talk about churning. I think that's actually. I think I might just do a long form video on that. I think it's really interesting. I want to spend time on it, and I probably will do that in the next week or two. But it will be like a. I think it will be like a. It'll still be one take. I'm not. I'm not going to stray from that. But, I think it's twenty twenty five minutes plus, talking about, a very important topic for agency owners. So that could be interesting to do. Beyond that, um. Yeah, just getting ready for the client session later today, discovery later today, and then I'm actually going to be heading home uh, this weekend as well. So you've got the the baggage to pack and put all that together in the car. So it's going to be a busy enough day. I've got two intro calls as well, which is good. I've probably had one, sorry. Um, so yeah, overall, and I need to do a little bit of work. Not too much actual typing required today, but yeah quite a bit of talking so anyway um general thoughts as a wrap up the week when the week is done well done me happy with that i will do it again today for next week and as a, i mean the whole point of doing this is that i do it at the end of a friday and it just kind of means i come away from a friday if I don't do it on a Friday, I do it on a Sunday evening, but it means I'm starting Monday with clarity on, on what I'm putting my time towards, which is brilliant. It's really helpful. I mean, it, if you can get into a habit of doing that, it will benefit you. You'll stop this thing that I used to do on a Monday morning being like, okay, you know, what I need to do or what's the priority? So it'll help you if you can get into a habit of doing that, for sure, in my opinion. Um, but bar that, any other thoughts on the week? That's 10 weeks done. If you asked me 10 weeks ago, what shape or size would I like the business to be 10 weeks into 2024, what I have said. I think I expected to have more clients by this point, but I probably didn't expect to have as many potential clients. I didn't expect as many inbound leads. I didn't expect the YouTube piece to be going so well. I didn't expect my content on LinkedIn to continue to be going down as well. I just really happy on all of those fronts. I, as I say, kind of expected or hoped, hoped's a funny word. I expected to have a client or two by now from this year, but I equally anticipate that that's, that's coming very soon based on the volume of people I'm speaking to, which is great. I, I didn't expect, to be honest, I didn't expect to be so happy in myself with the work I've done with some clients. What I mean by that is, I think we've done, I think I've just done really well with a couple in particular, just getting them on the right path, being given them complete clarity on what they need to be doing and really just helping them really well. I mean, that's, there's no point overcomplicating this. The feedback I'm getting from them is really positive overall. And yeah, I mean, long may that continue really. But it's, it's good on all those fronts. Challenges this week and then the first 10 weeks. You know, if I think back to early January. I mean, uh, yeah, I think that's probably about it. Like, uh, there's nothing that's been holding me back. I think I've probably been a little bit... One of the first things I spoke about ever on a YouTube video was about laziness and 
impatience. I, I don't feel impatient business-wise at the moment. I feel quite the opposite. I maybe have been a little bit lazy at times in the first 10 weeks when it comes to am I doing all I can to win new business. I don't think I am. I'm doing what I would consider somewhere between the minimum and the maximum. I don't know what the maximum is, <laughs> truthfully. So I can't say I'm doing everything I'm, I, I can. I don't know what the maximum would look like or feel like. That could be an interesting exercise for me to do someday, just jot down, like if I was doing everything I possibly could to win new business, what would I be doing? But anyway, um, it's been steady, it's been consistent. If I was to describe the first 10 weeks in this year, <clears throat> I would say it's been consistency or been consistent. I would say pretty rewarding. And I would say the third word that comes up for me is just optimism. I'm I'm very optimistic about the next 42 weeks because of what I have going on from the first 10. And I, it just feels like, again, if you think about it in terms of stepping stones, if, if these first 10 weeks were one big stepping stone for the rest of the year, amazing, you know. Um, there's been like maybe one week out of the 10, you know, the first week of the year was relatively quiet. There's been one week beyond that where it was pretty slow due to health reasons. So like eight out of the 10 weeks have been very, fairly standard working weeks, um, which is great. And I think within those eight, I've maybe had one week where I was like, I just didn't feel great that week. It wasn't that productive. The rest have all been really good. So that's where the consistency comes from. I suppose it's just that example of, you know, you do these, I mean, look, the, the win the week thing, and, and, and I keep harping on about it, but I mean, that that is an example of where you're doing three, four, five important things a week. You keep doing the other things, you keep following your processes, and lo and behold, you end up 10 weeks in saying, you've made good progress. So that's the aim. If we can have another 10 weeks like that, I'd be very happy. But that's kind of where we lead things, I suppose. I... I've got a lot of ideas for, for content. I want to talk about stuff on YouTube. I've got some ideas for longer form posts, as I mentioned. The LinkedIn side of things seems fine. Yeah, nothing else brewing. I've got an interesting topic or two that I'll do in, in a newsletter format, whether it's this month or next month. Um, just in case I'm making sure it's really high quality. And yeah, I, I think the only other thing brewing at the back of my mind is are there going to be any events that I'm going to go to in the next quarter? I think the answer is yes. There's one in London, probably in May time, that I'll probably go over for. And yeah, oh, that's the other big thing from the week I announced or shared with the, some clients, some initial plans or thoughts in relation to the um, offsite or, or meetup that I'm going to do with them. So all being well, that will happen in June slash July, which is brilliant. Really excited for that. Um, but it's very early days of planning, etc. So we'll see how it comes together. But that's it. That's a mishmash of stuff. I mean, ultimately, this ended up being a reflection on the first 10 weeks slash week 10 of the year. And we're in a good place. So, yeah, as I say, busy day today. I'm going to hop off, get my head down, have a good session. Good client session as well. Good discovery session, sorry, good client session. And, yeah, just get myself sorted for the weekend. So... That's it. Thanks for listening, if you are, or watching. Chat next week.